Welcome back to our channel where we explore the latest trends and technologies. Today, we're going to take a closer look at QMASM, the Quantum Many Body Annealing Solver Mapper, which is a programming language specifically designed for quantum programming. Before we dive into QMASM, let's briefly discuss quantum computing. Quantum computing is a new paradigm of computing that takes advantage of the principles of quantum mechanics to perform computations that classical computers can't handle. Quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states simultaneously, to perform complex calculations. Now, let's talk about QMASM. QMASM is a programming language designed specifically for quantum annealers. It was developed by the team at the Oak Ridge National Laboratory in the United States. One of the key features of QMASM is that it allows developers to easily map problems onto the hardware of quantum annealers, which can be a complex task. QMASM also supports a wide range of programming constructs, including loops and conditionals, making it a powerful tool for quantum programming. So, what are some of the applications of QMASM? Well, QMASM can be used to develop quantum algorithms for a wide range of problems, including optimization, machine learning, and cryptography. It's particularly well-suited for developing algorithms for quantum annealers. However, it's important to note that quantum computing is still in its early stages, and there are a number of challenges that need to be overcome before it can be used in production environments. For example, quantum computers are very sensitive to their environment, and even small changes in temperature or electromagnetic fields can cause errors in computations. Despite these challenges, quantum computing holds a lot of promise for solving some of the most complex problems in the world. And QMASM, as a programming language designed specifically for quantum annealers, is a key tool in helping developers unlock the potential of this exciting new technology. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.